Hey guys, this is Not Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the automatic transmission fluid and the automatic transmission filter in your car. In this case, we're using a 1978 Peugeot 504. Even though it's an old car, the process is going to be very similar in most makes and models. I bought this car sight unseen, drove it home fine, but while I've been working on it, I noticed it was leaking more fluids than a back room full of teens at a frat party. <laughs> Welcome back to the FMR Garage for the first time today. That's enough of that shenanigans. Let's get <laughs> let's get to it. I want to fix that leaky transmission, it fell off. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to not Chris fix it. I'm going to show you how to flip fix it. Let's get into it. What do we need? Let's go to the doctor. One old car, one pissing out tranny. That doesn't sound right. One service kit, some automatic transmission fluid, the usual hand tools, and of course some safety gear. Now this thing, which has a brand new gearbox and a reconditioned engine, seller's own words, keeps throwing up curveballs, which I'm not happy about, which I guess you'd expect from a 41 year old car, but not when you've been told it's been reconditioned. Actually, it was reconditioned and it is brand new in 2009. So yeah, we drove the car home fine. That, that wasn't the issue at that point. Uh, we parked it up. And in the first period of it being parked up, there was no leaks. Then I degreased the underbelly of the car, whacked it on some jack stands, and that is when the weeping began. Now, degreasing is fine, it's fantastic, but be warned, it leads to leaks. Why? Well, it takes away the natural grime that creates a seal, it acts like a sealer. Then you're left with those leaking problems, which we now currently have. So the tranny is fine, but I can't leave it leaking, so we've got to fix it. This has the Borg Warner 35, so BW35, apparently pretty common. I've ordered the kit for that. I'm just, before I crack anything, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the gasket down, it's just like a sad sack, doesn't it? I'm gonna just lay that up to the existing sump, the transmission sump, just to make sure that we've got the same holes and the same shape and everything. So I'll do that now. Time to do shit. Slide the uh, drain pan into position, ready for the coming deluge. The pug has a drain plug which needs an Allen key in this case. Uh. Thinking I had the correct size, I'd made my first attempt, and it was just too small. Poo! Upon a closer inspection, I noticed that the sump plug had been stripped out and I had nothing that would fit. So I improvised and I wrapped some thread tape around the Allen key and gave it a shot. And no luck. My efforts all failing, my only other option was to do a controlled dump or controlled leak of the fluid. Using a massive bloody shifter, I undid the large nut on the left, which attaches the dipstick, then grabbed some multis and loosened her up a bit more, a little bit of a tap and a bang, and boom, we got oil, boys. A lot of oil. Next, begin removing the bolts completely from the front to the rear of the sump, leaving just one or two bolts at the rear. This will let the sump angle down, and that'll let you drain the fluid out into your drain pan. Finally, we have the oil pan off from the Autotrans, the Autotrans sump, I should say. A little bit of debris in there, but I'll show you. Look at, look at that. That was in there too. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> okay. Remove the rest of the old uh, gasket there, getting the sump ready for a thorough clean down. Head over and then take out the old sump filter, ready for a new filter install. Four screws, she's out easy. All right, okay. new cork gasket, I'm gonna use that. Uh, I didn't think the other one had it, but it was a little thin one. And uh, we'll go and put the filter back on, and then I'm gonna go and wipe and clean the bottom of that out. Scrape off any excess crud on the outside, which there ain't much of. Might even use a little bit of gasket, a bit of joint paste there to seal that up. All right, let's put this on. Casually reinstall the filter, being careful not to walk on your dog, of course. Drain the last bits of the sump fluids, give it a good old wipe down and continue cleaning thoroughly. Bit of degreaser, grab the old brush and take it to the sink and wash it down. Using a steelo, steel wool, sandpaper if that's all you got, 
Give all of those flange edges a nice clean down so we have a clean flush face. All right, using a nice clean cloth, dry it completely, wipe everything down, and if you're not happy, put it out in the sun to dry thoroughly for about half an hour. Then go grab yourself some of that Gaskin Goo sealant, whatever you want to call it, and uh, pretty much put a nozzle on it, cut it off at an angle, and ice her up like you're icing a cake. This gasket's pretty floppy, so I sort of folded it in half here, laid it on one side so that all the holes were right, and then rolled it out until she fitted. Adjust slightly, and then get it ready to bolt up to the Autotrans. What do you reckon, John? Yeah, I don't know, mate. This looks pretty good. I'm just going to throw that shit in there. I'll be a bit of copper in that. Yep. Sweet as, Murray. Get that fan, too. Yeah, well, fuck it, that mile was good, too, mate. Quick 50 bucks there. The new gasket on, head over to the car and reinstall it. Make sure when you bend over, your ass crack doesn't show. So just readjust those pants. Using a torque wrench, lightly nip those bolts up because with a cork gasket, they need very little tension. All right, before I go and get some more fluid, I'm gonna take what's in the drain pan that we've used um, this morning and we're gonna tip it into an existing empty bottle and that can tell me how much I'm gonna to need to replace. And that should be pretty close. This could get messy, so let's insert plastic or cardboard, pour out the fluids, and then check how much you're gonna to need to replace. Back of the bottle there. Two, three, four, let's say four and a half liters. Might lose a little bit here and there. Trying to film, but it's pissing down rain and I I think that's fantastic because we haven't had rain in so long. Uh, thankfully it's not a bad storm, it's just some good drenching. By checking what we took out of the transmission earlier, that'll give us a great indication as to how much we need to put back in obviously, but we still will need to check that later on. Keep a rag handy to clean up any of those little spills. Don't get too excited though. With the car turned off and the fluids all in, run through each gear before starting the car. Now the car's running, we're just going to let it warm up a little bit, then we'll throw through those gears. This was the first automatic transmission service that I'd performed, so when a car was warm I'd gingerly work my way through those gears again from first all the way back up to park. Happy with that, I went and rechecked the fluids, of course top it up if it's a little bit low, but it looked great. Finished! Excellent! Thank God. Well, we are done for another week. That was an effort. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Big shout out to, well, I just want to say thank you to Wood Rigos, Woody from the Skid Factory for recommending um, my content to his followers on Instagram. Thank you very much, mate. It means a lot to have uh, blokes like yourself who are already doing good stuff on YouTube to recommend to your followers my content so I'm chuffed about that we bounced from 62 or 3 up to 90 uh, overnight which is good <laughs> still little baby but um, it's movement and lots of views particularly on that last episode if you like what I'm doing on the park or anything uh, we've got lots more to do I've got to do my old school car yet um, if you like what you see please consider subscribing that'll be fantastic and we'll catch you again next week on flip my right I'm going for a run I'm going in the wet weather So we did the service yesterday and I've come down this morning and that is not good. That is worse than what it bloody was. The doctor wouldn't be happy. That is, in my rush to get it done and I should, didn't even think, didn't even think. I've not let the, um, where is it? I've not let the... Jointing paste, I've not let that cure. So it still was too tacky and the transmission fluid has been flowing and got hot. 
and I'd say it worked its way through the, the jointing paste and now it's created maybe voids as it's cured and gone hard and the oil is just literally pissing out. Anyway, uh, no time for that today. We're going to go to work and I'm going to address this at another, another time. I'll put a pan under there and just try and catch that. Um, love it. Working on cars. I work on cars because I love it. But it pisses me off because I love it. Right. Later, lads and lasses. <laughs>